I'm going to show you how I do taking the rings off these wheels. Uh, there's tons of screws in there. I use uh, Ryobi 4 volt Tech 4 and I have it on the lowest setting so that it doesn't strip out the hole. I don't want it to strip out the hole so I put it on the lowest setting. I also have this I have this dog that tries everything. I have this energy set here. I kept stripping generic um, Allen wrench type things. This set was almost $40 and totally worth it. These ends are slightly tapered so when you put them down into a screw they kind of stick in there tight and they don't strip the screws. Plus they fit right in the end of the bit. So I've got this on one. I'm making sure it's set down in there good so I don't strip the screw and I'm just backing the screw out. Way better than turning 16 screws by hand, don't you think? <laughs> That's that. So we've taken the old wheel out. Here we have the tire with no foam. These particular tires I got used. Somebody drilled a ton of holes in them so that they would shed water. And rather than using regular foam, they use this red scratchy pad floor buffer disc. And then to make stiffer sidewalls, this stuff is actually pretty smushy, kind of like foam. And to make stiffer sidewalls, it looks like swimming pool noodle cut to make sidewalls and it all fits together. So far, it seems to work okay with these tires on the rig, probably because my rig is heavier than normal. I don't know that they'd work very well for everybody. But now I'm going to, I've taken the thinner wheels. You can see I've got wheel weights taped on it. I'm going to put the wheel weights over to this slightly wider wheel. Um, I'm trying to widen out the class three just a little bit. So I'm going to move these weights over to this wheel and then reassemble. We're putting some weights in these wheels to keep the vehicle planted. My lovely assistant whom you can only see her nails is helping to put these in these are stick-on wheel weights came from pep boys or pretty much any place that sells tires you can get them they're they're quarter ounce pieces and so we put enough in there to put about six ounces in the front wheels and usually about three in the back wheels and that just keeps the vehicle on the ground we hold them in there with uh, electrical tape because it stretches and holds them good so now we just line up the ring back on here. Usually I like to get the screws started without the drill. That way I don't accidentally cross thread anything and strip them. When you put the rings back on, always go opposite of each other. So put your first one in then go to the opposite side and do your other one and you crisscross you go back and forth on them so that the tire seats properly all the way around so we're just gonna do like a crisscross pattern it's very similar to how you would change a tire on a real car sometimes it can be a trick to get these screws to line up in there though up at all. Maybe I've got this off center or something. So 24 screws later, new wheels mounted up. They're weighted. Tires are on, ready to go. All we gotta do is throw them on the rig.